Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little over 10 months since I shared my first best vanillas list, but I am finally following up with a part two, all new fragrances to talk about that are vanilla dominant. So if you love vanilla and fragrances, I highly recommend all of these. And I did my best to incorporate a lot of fall winter choices. And just like last time, I'm going to begin with a very special unboxing. This is the latest addition to my fragrance collection, courtesy of Twisted Lily. They recently started carrying this brand, Thameen London. This is Peregrina. I had never heard of this fragrance house before, but I tried a sample of this fragrance, immediately fell in love, and requested to review it. I love the inspiration behind this fragrance. La Peregrina is one of the most iconic, most valuable pearls in the world. It was once owned by several Spanish monarchs. Its history spans almost 500 years. It once belonged to actress Elizabeth Taylor, and the jewel is now in private ownership. It launched in 2019. Keynotes include Damask Rose, Gardenia, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, Caramel, vanilla, myrrh, amber, and ylang, ylang Base notes are amber, powdery notes, and white musk. How did you not tell me that this existed? A hidden gem if there ever was one. It's hard to find these days. But wow, when I smelled this fragrance, it was, whoa. This exists and nobody told me? It is like a sweet, delicious gourmand rose. It definitely has vanilla, but I pick up on the caramel, the rose, the amber, the powdery notes. It's not too powdery. I like a powdery fragrance. I know some people don't. It's elegant, but it's very modern. If this was widely available, it would give Delina a run for its money. It has that delicious, captivating, head-turning, crowd-pleasing quality. And it does have a little bit of warmth, a little sensuality, so I think this is so perfect going into fall, winter, the cozy months. This would be beautiful for a date night, an elevated occasion, any moment that you're getting really dressed up, or if you just want to make a good impression, this would be that perfect cherry on top. If you really like Rose's Vinny from Mansara, I think this is a more complex version. The notes that stand out to me the most are the rose, gardenia, caramel, and vanilla, and then the powdery notes, a little musk in the dry down. But you are all officially on notice. Peregrina is incredible. I highly recommend checking it out. And it's now available at Twisted Lily. You can always use my coupon code Aaron 10 at checkout, and I believe samples are available. Sampling is the best way to find the right fragrances. Almost immediately after I filmed my first Best Vanillas list, I added Sublime Fini from Creed to my collection. And if I'm being honest, this is truly what inspired me to create a Best Vanillas Part 2 because since then, I've added so many incredible vanillas to my collection. I know it's one of the most popular notes. I love vanilla. You probably love vanilla. But Sublime Vini from Creed holds a special place in my heart. It's one of my personal favorites. I love wearing this fragrance. I love the way it makes me feel. There is something so special about it. It's sweet. It's vanilla. It has this zesty citrus pop that's very energizing and it just makes me feel like a fairy princess every time I wear this. It is very whimsical. Every detail about the fragrance is beautiful down to the handcrafted glass bottles adorned with gold by a centuries-old Parisian glassmaker. Keynotes include vanilla, tonka bean, white bergamot, lemon, and Tonkin musk. The price point says special occasions only, guard with your life, but the fragrance is a little bit more casual. This to me is everyday luxury. It could be bridal, could be elevated, but I also think you don't have to wait. You don't have to savor this fragrance. This would be an incredible signature scent. It's heavenly. It's sugary sweet, like a very fancy candy, lemon meringue pie, Something whipped very light and airy. This is not a heavy, moody, dark vanilla fragrance. It's the opposite. It's a beautiful gourmand vanilla. Not floral, just straight vanilla with a twist of citrus and a little musk in the dry down. You have to pardon my interruption. We have to conduct a quick little experiment because I was trying a few new samples yesterday. Found some good ones. And this is one of the samples that I had. It's Lyra 
from the Castamirati collection from Zerjoff. I've had a sample of this before and I really like it. Definitely a vanilla dominant fragrance. And I always like to tease my husband. I'll spray the blotter cards and ask him which one is his favorite. And this was one of his favorites. It kind of reassured me that yes, eventually I need to add this to my collection. But when I smelled this yesterday, it reminded me so much of Sublime Vanille and I'd never put the two together before. So I just have to smell these side by side. Ooh, Lyra is beautiful. This has been highly recommended to me and it is, it's an incredible fragrance. You know, I think it is so much more potent than the Sublime Vanille. It really overpowers, but they have similarities. Sublime Vanille is a little bit more light, airy, fresh. Lyra is a little bit more powerful. It's a little bit bolder. This could be daytime, evening, spring, summer, fall, winter. But it is another delicious vanilla fragrance. I absolutely love it. At some point, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I have two fragrances here from Celine. My full size bottle is Black Tie. And then I also have Dom Perry. This came from my little coffret set. Both are incredible vanilla fragrances. I'm gonna start by talking about Black Tie. The reason I went with this as my first full size bottle is because it's a little bit lighter. And so I thought this would be better for the Miami climate. I'll get more use out of this. Dom Paris is a little bit deeper. Reminds me a bit of the Spiritus Double Vanille from Guerlain. That's almost a boozy, hearty vanilla. Black Tie is exactly what the title describes. It's elegant, sophisticated, but it's not too much. It is a very understated fragrance. You could wear this anytime. It could be your signature scent. I think this is office appropriate, especially if you are the boss or you wanna make an incredible first impression. Key notes include white orris butter, cedar, tree moss, vanilla, and musk. The dry down of black tie is incredibly smooth. You definitely pick up on the woody notes, like the cedar, but it's not too much. These are unisex fragrances. And while I can see a man wearing this, when I smell it, I think on me, it would smell incredibly feminine. It's so pretty. Just beautifully balanced vanilla. It's a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. It has a hint of warmth to it, but not too much. It's such a versatile fragrance. I really don't think you can put black tie in one box. You can't say, this is evening, this is date night, this is spring, summer. It's everything. This is an all occasion versatile fragrance which is why I thought it was the perfect choice for my first full-size bottle. If I had to describe this for somebody who has never smelled it before, cream soda comes to mind. Yeah, it's a little bit cream soda. If cream soda was extremely elegant and sophisticated and could be poured at a black tie occasion. Also could be bridal. This is for somebody who really likes Spiritus Double Vanille, but doesn't necessarily want something that bold. If you like your fragrance to sit a little bit closer to the skin, black tie. And then we have Dom Paris, which is also extremely vanilla forward, but this is more in line with the Guerlain fragrance. It is a heavy, moody, kind of dark, sexy vanilla. It's a vampy vanilla. This is very much date night fall winter warm and cozy but it is beautiful and i love how bold this fragrance is i was torn between the two and eventually i will go back and i will get a full size bottle of dom Paris because this is one of those fragrances that will just turn heads this is your statement maker this is not understated elegance it's elegant but it's more extreme lavish luscious will make your mouth water inspired by the promise of paris when you're just 20 years old and feeling that the city belongs to you it has keynotes of bergamot coriander seed laurel blossom accord musk and vanilla it's just an incredible scent and it smells so luxurious and it smells incredibly expensive. Now this smells like a special occasion. This fragrance, you have to be dressed up. The hair, nails, full outfit, the full ensemble, and then this is the perfect fragrance for a girl's night out, a night out dancing, a nightclub even. 
could be holiday party, any party, any special festive occasion when you just want to look and feel your best, this is the perfect compliment. This might not be on your radar yet, but it should be. It's a new launch for 2022. It's Idol Nectar from Lancome. This took me by surprise because I didn't really know what to expect. I think I had pretty middle of the road expectations, but it smells incredible. It has a caramel popcorn accord and you can truly smell the caramel popcorn. Like it's a little warm, salty, addicting. Rose, bourbon, vanilla in the dry down. It has a very creamy vanilla forward base, which I love. It's a bit similar to Peregrina, the first fragrance we talked about in that it's almost a candied or a sugared vanilla rose fragrance. I think this is so perfect for fall. I can definitely see wearing this for a night out. Oh, and it does kind of have this delicious nectar, almost a sweet fruitiness to it. But there's warmth, there's depth there. Another fragrance I would compare this to would be the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia Eau de Parfum. That fragrance has brown sugar. This has the caramel popcorn. Both are amazing. And in my experience wearing this fragrance, it lasts all night. Even the next morning, I could still smell it on my clothes. And it has really decent projection. I could still smell this on me later on. That doesn't always happen with fragrance. I don't mind if it does or not, because usually even if I can't smell it, maybe I've gone nose blind, other people can smell it, but I could smell this fragrance and I loved the way it smelled. I love the dry down. One of my favorite warm, cozy, very snuggly fragrances for fall winter is Trey Share from Mise and Seer. This smells like a hug, like a hug from a loved one or grandma who you haven't seen in a really long time. Reminds me of being wrapped in a cashmere blanket or scarf. Keynotes include orange blossom, amber, jasmine, bourbon, vanilla, and Australian sandalwood. This was love at first sniff for me. I knew I had to have this fragrance. I tried a little discovery set. I think I purchased it from Bloomingdale's and this was the one. Like, wow. For your love, sweet praline is also really good, but Trey Cher. Oh my goodness. It's a little bit powdery, a little bit sweet, very vanilla and sandalwood. So if you like vanilla and you like sandalwood, I would definitely check this out. It truly feels like cuddling on the couch with a loved one, like a Netflix and chill night when you're just so content. You know that moment when you're on the couch, you're nice and warm, maybe it's cold outside, you have a cup of hot cocoa, that feeling of like wow, bliss, holiday bliss, they bottled it. I don't know how, but that is exactly what I think of when I smell this fragrance. And it is still so hot outside, but I'm really looking forward to wearing this again. As soon as it cools down a little bit, or I finally just start pretending that it's fall, I think this could be every day. You could wear this dressed up somewhere special. You could wear it for a date night if you wanted to probably wouldn't be my first choice, but you absolutely could. It wouldn't be inappropriate. I kind of think this is a really great just grab and go fragrance every day. There is an incredible Florist London fragrance that I have not told you about yet. This is Honey Oud. This was sent to me complimentary a while back, but I waited because I really think fall winter is when this fragrance is going to shine. And it does have vanilla, so this felt like the perfect appropriate time to introduce you to this fragrance. It is so warm and delicious. I love honey in fragrances. I've discovered that honey along with vanilla is one of my favorite notes. Keynotes include honey, bergamot, rose, patchouli, amber, vanilla, labdanum, and musk. This one is a bit bold and spicy. Oh, I love it. This is like Christmas in a bottle. Oh, it's a little bit warm, spicy. You get the warmth from the honey, a little sweetness. It is such a beautiful fragrance. This is fall winter in a bottle. And it has a little creaminess from the vanilla as well. Not quite as vanilla dominant as some of the others on the list, but still very smooth. I haven't had the chance to wear this very much because I've only had it for a few months now and it's been insanely hot outside. 
so I cannot wait to start wearing this in the fall. Honey Oud reminds me a little bit of Ojan from Parfum de Marly. It's not quite as apple pie, but it definitely has the honey, the spice, a little sweetness. So they're different, but similar qualities. I think if you really like Ojan, you would probably really like Honey Oud. It's just another masterpiece from Floris London. Next, we have Allure Sensuelle, one of my all-time favorite Chanel fragrances. I almost feel bad talking about it because I believe this is still listed as sold out. I'm hoping it is not on the chopping block because Allure Sensuelle is truly underrated in my opinion. I feel like if more people knew about this fragrance, it would be more popular because to me, it smells just as great, maybe even a little bit better than Coco Mademoiselle. I know Coco Mademoiselle is one of the best-selling women's fragrances, so they're tough to compare, but Allure Sensuelle is up there. And to me, because it is a little bit more unique, it has more of a wow factor. It's a bit spicy and sexy. This is perfect for a date night, night out on the town. It's a fall winter fragrance. It smells very warm and cozy, like getting dressed up. This is such a classy fragrance. It makes my mouth water. It's a little bit gourmand, but it definitely still has that patchouli, powdery, jasmine, rose, Chanel DNA. That is the heart of this fragrance, but then it has a little zip, like a little extra special sauce on top. It's amazing. It's like a warmer, cozier, softer Coco Noir would be another comparison. It's definitely a creamier, more vanilla forward Coco Noir, but the same mood, I would wear them for the same occasion. It's been hard to get a hold of for a few months now, but it is worth seeking out, trying to find it, maybe at a local beauty boutique or Chanel boutique, because it's one of the best fragrances that Chanel has ever made, in my opinion. I'm gonna finish with a few more affordable options. This is from La Vanilla. I have Vanilla Grapefruit, and then I did end up purchasing Vanilla Summer. Both of these are amazing. Vanilla Summer is like vanilla, coconut, it's very beachy, very summery, so this may not be what you're looking for right now. And even the vanilla grapefruit, it's probably more spring, summer. However, this is surprisingly delicious. I just think it's an incredible fragrance. It smells very clean and light, could be a really nice everyday fragrance. It's not so tart and citrusy that you can't wear it in the fall winter kind of just depends on your personal style but i love it it's a fraction of the cost of sublime Vinny from creed not in the same category of course but if you like the idea of a light fresh kind of zippy zesty playful vanilla i want to say this bottle was 40 dollars. not bad at all it's not going to last an incredibly long time. It doesn't have a ton of projection. I think this is considered to be a clean fragrance house. It's just a beautiful fragrance. I've been burned so many times looking for incredible but affordable fragrances. This is not one of those cases. This is a wow to me. If you told me this was the new Giorgio Armani vanilla grapefruit, I would say, oh wow. The new Armani grapefruit, it's amazing. It really does smell high quality, not cheap at all. It doesn't smell synthetic, synthetic, doesn't smell synthetic or too sweet. It's a beautiful, creamy, like pure vanilla bean vanilla. Mm, one of the best affordable fragrance options, I think. And if you don't like the idea of grapefruit, they also have a pure vanilla, which is really nice. I only have the rollerball, but I really like it. And then the last affordable option I have here to mention is from Sol de Janeiro. It's the Brazilian Crush Chirosa 62. It has pistachio, salted caramel, and vanilla, sandalwood, heliotrope, jasmine. It's a body spray, so light, fresh, pairs really beautifully with their Boom Boom Cream. But if you like a salted caramel, heavy, sweet vanilla, this is a beautiful gourmand. This bottle is 20 bucks. And I'm just a huge fan of this Sol de Janeiro body sprays. I think I've only tried, well, I've tried the Anita. I think that was limited edition, the 62 and the 68. I haven't tried them all, 
but the two that I've tried that I wear the most, this one and the Beja Floor, beautiful, amazing, 10 out of 10 body mists. And that completes Best Vanilla's part two. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. If I have yet to mention your favorite vanilla fragrance, drop it in the comment section. I would love to read your recommendations. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.